Hi, my name is Rob Landolfi and I'm the Assistant Director of Culinary Development here at the University of Connecticut. So what I want to do is I want to show you some really affordable, healthy, easy meals that you can make at home that will fill you up and allow you to study and focus on what you're really here for, academics. So what we're going to do first is we're going to heat up our pan here and we're using actually chicken thighs. Okay, and what people don't realize is that chicken thighs are very affordable. So these are about three ounces. So you can actually get five chicken thighs for about $1.99. So that could actually be like five meals for yourself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, and we're just gonna put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in our pan. Just enough to cover the bottom. Now what you wanna look for with oil is you don't want to spend a lot of money on something like extra virgin olive oil because again it's really expensive and it doesn't have a high smoking point. What that means is it's going to break down and actually burn the food before it cooks it. Now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to take these. I'm just going to put them right into the oil. You want to cook them until they're nice and golden brown on one side and then you only want to flip them once. About seven, eight minutes and as you can see these are both, they're beautiful. They're golden brown on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take them right out of our saute pan and we're just going to put them in a holding pan and let them rest. So what I'm doing is we're going to actually use a pasta today. Now when you go to the store, you really want to take advantage of what's out there. So if you go to the pasta section, look around, you'd be surprised. You can get a whole box of pasta. This one right here was a dollar a box and it's actually a whole grain pasta, which is a much healthier pasta. This right here is about four to six servings. Okay, and what I did was, all I did is I cooked it off just like the box directions. It was about nine to 11 minutes in boiling water. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same pan that we actually cooked our chicken in because it's got a lot of really good flavor in there and there's still a little bit of oil in there. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with just a little bit of chicken broth and we're gonna deglaze the pan a little bit, okay? So when you look at this, this right here you have a choice. You can either buy cartons just like this these right here, when you open them, they last about five to six days in your refrigerator. Or you can actually go and buy bouillon cubes, okay? Half of a cube to one cup of hot water and you have yourself some chicken stock. These right here will last up to two years in your cabinet. A little lesson on garlic. You can buy cloves, okay? Again, if you buy a head of garlic, cloves are only gonna last probably about four weeks. If you go and buy some of the chopped garlic in a jar, it's actually gonna last up to three to six months. So it really is personal preference. If you buy the cloves of garlic, what you wanna do is you wanna take them, just take off the little, the little ends, just like so. Aim the blade away from you, and just smash it. And then what you wanna do is just do a quick little chop. And we're gonna go right into our pan. Just gonna push that around a little bit. And what you're doing is we're cooking just until that's kind of fragrant, okay? We wanna draw out some of that garlic flavor a little bit. And you can actually smell it when it's in the oil. All right, so we're gonna get that going. And then from there, what we're gonna do, after that kind of cooks down a little bit, becomes a little bit translucent, what that means is the garlic actually softens up a little bit. We're just gonna take a little bit of chicken broth and go right into our pan, just like so. Then we're just gonna add in our pasta, okay? So I have here, as I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make probably two servings, okay? So, put a little bit of pasta in there. And what I wanna do is I just wanna, just kinda toss it around just to coat it. Okay, we'll put that right on there. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use a little bit of pesto. Now, a lot of people think that pesto is really expensive, but if you actually go, this one right here is a jarred pesto. It's not a refrigerated pesto. And you can actually, this will just cost me just over a dollar for this whole jar, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and just put a couple teaspoons in. And as you can see, it's got a great coating on it. If you lose a noodle like that, that's your tester. Mm-mm, that's good. All right, just gotta push it around a little. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our chicken, bring it over here, this is our chicken that was resting, and we're just gonna cut it right up into pieces. Just throw it right in there. A Little bit of Parmesan cheese. As you can see, 
Again, I'm buying it right in the pasta aisle. It's the one right on the shelf. It's great. This will last in your fridge forever. And you just kind of just sprinkle that on there like so. We're gonna put a little bit, just a pinch of red pepper flakes. And this is just to give it a little bit of heat. And I'm gonna throw in some cherry tomatoes. So I want a little bit of color in there. And I'm not throwing in a lot. You're probably talking about a quarter cup or so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plate. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna garnish here. This is just some toasted walnuts, just to give it a, and you don't need a lot. People always say, you know, walnuts are really expensive. But you actually go buy yourself a bag of walnuts. This right here, I'm only using not even a teaspoon. And I just toasted it up and I'm just sprinkling them on top for that extra little bit of flavor. And then I'm just gonna, a little more Parmesan on top. And there it is, that's a simple one pan dish. Pesto pecan chicken, some grape tomatoes, big flavors, delicious, and as you can see, not a lot of cleanup. Enjoy.